this summer I was challenged to build a tower out of popsicle sticks or tongue depressors and they just were allowing glue to put it together with and I didn't think that was a the best way to put things together because the glue would take forever to to dry and uh, they wanted us to turn it into a water tower and then when the water hit the glue the glue would kind of dissolve and our water towers didn't work out very well so I came up with a a different method uh, so what I did was I drilled holes in the tips of them and then used uh, Chanel sticks or pipe cleaners whatever you want to call these to um, twist tie them together okay and I figured by doing this we could do all sorts of stuff I, you could create a shape like this that can move around and all sorts of fun things now at first I was just drilling them with a drill and I figured you know, if I had a bunch of students doing this that would be kind of time-consuming you know if you, but then I found this it's a uh, 1.8 millimeter punch it's for punching into metal so I figured it could handle uh, wood just fine and, and it does you know I can punch holes in here no problem and it very rarely cracks the uh, tongue depressors but it does crack all the time on the um, on the other type of stick, the uh, popsicle sticks. So these are really thin and they, you can punch a whole bunch of holes in them and put a hole anywhere you want with just these. So they worked really well. And then I was like, well, I want to mass produce a bunch of these things. And so I decided to laser cut holes into them. So this is my my laser cut holes and they're in the very specific spots let me show you my uh, my drawing here of where I put them this is in millimeters and so I wanted to be able to make it so that I could put these together in multiple ways and with these seven holes uh, you can create all sorts of really cool things so I'm going to show you those real quick uh, the first one of course is a triangle okay so a triangle makes it so that it's a lot stiffer you can't move it triangles are amazing and then I was like well I want to be able to make it so you can have a full stick as a diagonal and so and then I cut off the tips of them and made a, a square like that with a cross and then I said, like, well I need to make it so that you could do a a square with pieces going all across with the full a full stick out here so you can see that this one is you know just a little bit bigger than this one okay so that's how that one works and so with and then I wanted to make it so that you could put it together with a diagonal here and here and just and not not have to cut or combine things together so that's a full square like that or you can just make a square and then use the pipe cleaners as cross beams and you can show them how cables uh, make everything stronger. Um, then I just started going a little bit crazy. I was like, well, what else can I make? And I made this one. So that one's pretty cool. Um, we made this one. And this is just with seven holes. I even could make a star. I don't know if I should show that one because that could get thrown across the room. But anyway. Um, so it's, it's really a really cool thing and, and you can just put things together and rearrange them and, and make whatever you want. And so I started putting together towers and all sorts of fun stuff. Let me show you here. So here's a small tower right there. And then I have a much bigger tower right here. All right, so uh, what you do is you build them in each side and then you twist tie them together so these pipe cleaners are really really handy and I just cut them into fourths and just use these so you could have students build with tongue depressors um, if you don't have a laser cutter then these punches work really well they're only like 12-15 bucks um, or if you have a laser cutter of that is the best thing because I can go on my laser cutter and I could cut over a hundred of these in less than three minutes 
uh, with the proper you know jigs and fixtures and whatnot. Anyway, so it's pretty cool. I just wanted to show that off um, and show that even with the, the simplest things, we can have students build um, amazing structures with simple tools and simple supplies. And we don't have to wait for glue to dry. It's pretty cool.